Okay, so it's the end of day one of using the Dugimex 5.5. I'm still getting all my settings transferred across from my old Windows phone, but I just thought I'd update on experience so far. So it's been very stable. I've, I've used it a fair bit, as you do when you get a new phone. You have to tinker and you have to play, and everything's a bit novel, so it's fun. And despite a full day's use, we've still got 75% battery life left which is quite good performance I think. Now I'll just take it over here in the light because I just want to point out something that I noticed. Slight deviation really from the specs and images that were in circulation before this phone was launched. There is a little bit of a bezel. Now there's about three and a half millimeters between the outside case and the edge of the actual display itself which was not evident in the promotional photos that were circulating about this phone before it was launched. So it's not exactly as it was billed, it's not completely bezel-less. I, I still think it looks actually quite nice, but I just thought I'd point that out because I think that's probably quite an important point for some people. Okay, so we're down here in the... We're down here in the damp meadow that I featured in one of my earlier videos. My new smartphone, the Doogee Mix 5.5. So at the moment you're looking at me on the front selfie camera on the phone. So in a minute we'll switch to the rear camera and we'll take some footage and at the same time we'll have a look at what's around us. So kind of dual purpose video. Okay so this is using the rear facing camera. So we're just gonna have a look around and I mean, one of the things to say about this field is everything has grown up phenomenally. A lot of the spring flowers have completely gone now and gone to seed and the plants are gone. Everything else has grown up fantastically. So we'll just do a smooth pan shot there and see what that's like. Okay, so on the screen when I'm panning I can see what appears to me to be jerkiness in the video playback so it'll be interesting to see what the video footage is like whether that corresponds so let's have a little walk along anyway and see what else we can see as I say everything has really significantly grown up here on the field there's some willow herbs here which are towering above my head so probably two and a bit meters tall some of these willow herb plants and these weren't here at all when we were down here earlier in spring. And then this bit here was just buttercups earlier and it's now thick with thistles. And just here if we have a look, because we do like to look at the little details, we've got cardinal beetles mating on a thistle right here. One thing I am noticing while I'm videoing here is the screen keeps fading. The actual screen timeout I think is probably going to go blank. Now that shouldn't happen to my mind when I'm filming. The camera should keep the screen active if it's recording, but that doesn't seem to be happening. Anyway, so look, some of these thistles have actually flowered and gone over and gone to seed and produced these downy seeds here. And those will be So yes, the phone powered off while I was recording video. That's a bit of a silly bug. I don't expect a smartphone to power off while the video is active, actively recording. So a bit of a cock up on the configuration there, no doubt. Let's get some close-up shots of a flower, shall we? Let's do some tricky lighting. So here we've got a backlit example of a flower and I'm going to just touch on the screen to focus there we go that's tricky lighting and then we'll have a look see if that if that will give me a nice balanced view of that without it being all washed out so focusing on the flower it is having a little bit of trouble actually getting a focus on this flower even though it's right there 
Okay, let's move on. Doggo. Now there's no optical image stabilization so you're probably seeing a fair bit of jogging about when I'm walking. And the colour reproduction on the screen, at least, on the rear-facing camera, looks better than it did on the selfie camera. My impression from what I was seeing on the screen from that selfie camera is that it was a little bit dull and a little bit of a warm colour tone. Okay, so... I can touch on different parts of the image here to get... So I'm touching on the sunlight bit there and it's adjusting focus and light and exposure and when I touch in the shadow down here at the bottom left we're getting adjustment for that so it does appear to adjust a little bit okay so let's have a look down here we've got some flowers here we've got a clover flower in the shade so let's see what sort of focus yep there we go that's nicely focused Oh, look, you know that you guys know that I like vetches and the pea family flowers. And look at this one. Look at those tiny, tiny little flowers there. Let's see if we can get a closer look at one of those. Okay, the camera's really having trouble acquiring a focus on such a small target there. That's interesting to note. So. Here's the flower I'm after. I imagine it'll focus okay when I've got my hand behind it. Yeah, a little bit of trouble acquiring a focus there. So, let's have a look at the moving subject now. So we've got a bumblebee down here. Okay. Okay, back at home now, I'll just take some still photos of a number of different things in different lighting conditions and we'll see how that comes out.